Hey everybody, welcome back. I just realized you can't see the game at all. <clears throat> Let's fix that. Saved. Saved. He saved it. It's not saved. Not saved. Okay. This has now become a different video. This is how long will it take him to troubleshoot this issue? He's saving it. He's saving. He's minimizing. He's maximizing. He is trading in his MG for a white Chrysler LeBaron. It should be capturing. I know that's not helpful to hear that. It should be. Now, the next thing you do is you close and reopen it, okay? You close and reopen it. Now, you're not going to see it for like a second here. That's by design. Then you're going to see it as soon as I click this button. Any second now. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do, you're going you're gonna to go to... Hey, professional. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> Super Auto Pets. Let me tell you, it's a new weekly... I'm just going to keep it 100% with you. I think this weekly is not unfun. Let's be a jovial mouth. You know, like, ho, 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 ha. Like, it's a happy mouth. I think this weekly is not as well balanced as last week's. I'm just calling it like I see it, okay? But I do also think that there's a lot of things in this that are fun. Now... Fun is an interesting way to describe this. Like, I think this is one of the easiest packs to win with. By the way, look at my insane team. Um, because the, the recipes for success are actually, basically, there's a lot of scaling. And the tricks are going to spread through the community like wildfire. So just prepare yourself for this. This was not the right way to build this squad, but that's okay. Basically, the puppy exists, so that's a big one. Peacock and Leech exist, which when working together, like Peacock, Leech, and a Lollipop can really scale because the Leech hurts the Peacock. The Peacock gets four or eight attack, depending on le it's level one or two. If you get level three, it's even better, obviously. So your Peacock goes from like a 2.5 to then be like a 22, and then you swap it and it becomes a 2.20, and then it becomes a 10, 19, a le without getting into the minutiae too much. It just scales like a son of a gun, okay? There are a lot of, like, um, there's a lot of hurt triggers. I don't know how well the woodpecker will do for us, but I'm realizing now the woodpecker actually got buffed. So the woodpecker does two damage to the units uh, that are in two positions in front of it. That's actually fairly sizable. I was wondering why I was seeing so many woodpeckers. I suppose it's because they got the... Uh, they got a little uh, buffed, huh? Got a little buffed. Enjoy the buff. That's what I say to that. So I'm really, like, the easy ticket for success is either, like, a relatively early puppy or uh, a relatively early peacock. You got to give the peacock a chance when you see it. Now, I don't think you hit it with a woodpecker. Um, at level three, we start to see the opportunity for a leech to show up. And from that point on, you're, you're loving life. Let me just... I, I played it on stream today. I actually had to stop buying uh, the peacock. Because it just... It, I hate to say it. It got to the point where it was actually just a little bit too automatic. But considering that this is the first video, that I'm willing to give it a chance for sure. Now, this is not how you use your pill bug properly. Turtle is just good. I have to think. The peacock has to exist. The turtle is good enough. I don't really want the turtle to get killed by a woodpecker. So this is transitory. I think we are going to probably get rid of our woodpecker soon. We're just waiting for the right unit to exist. Now, of course, you could just pill... Um, the turtle, but I actually, I, I think a turtle plus, like, some scaling does pretty well in this pack. Man, Woodpecker would have freaking wiped you. But it, we're gonna wipe you anyway. Look at this. There's no sweat. I understand we're overriding um, our honey, but I think it's the right time to override it as long as you're overriding it with something that's better. And then we're looking for a level or a leech. A level. I don't have any problems with this, quite frankly. Um, let's get this set up. I think you're... Oh, wait, well, there's no point in selling you right now. Who gets buffed? Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Imagine... Dude, they should add Mewtwo to Super Auto Pets. I still maintain, and, and I don't think too many people are, you know, on the opposite side of this case right now, but... 
Nintendo is missing out by not essentially... I'm not saying they should, I'm just saying they're missing out. They should yoink Super Auto Pets, or at least the concept of a very simplistic auto battler, and then apply it to Pokemon. It just works, you know, three evolutions, don't worry about damage types and stuff like that. Just, you know, just do it the old-fashioned way. The new fashion way. Do it the Super Auto Pets way. The best to ever do it. Put some respect on their name. Maybe give them like a billion dollars. And then, uh, you know, learn to live a little. Now let's... I don't exactly know how we should set this team up. Having not gotten a leech, it is not... Uh, this is not a superstar team right now. Come on, you're telling me you don't want to get a, a, a Ekans that sucks off a Bulbasaur, thus creating a situation where your Ekans gets a... No, don't answer that question, okay? That was a trick question. If you answered it, you, you tell me everything I need to know. All I'm getting at, we don't have the dream team right now. But we do have some dreamy teammates. I think we can afford to run the pill bug for one more round, but let's not invest in it. I do want a rooster. I, I wish... You know what? It's still early enough the leech can work. I, I think you have to... And you're going to hate this, I know. Hold on. Save the leech. We're looking for a pill. We got a pill. Pill the ants. That's fantastic. Sell this. Level me. If I'm being honest with you, I'm going to tell you that I don't think this could have gone really any better. I'm okay with the way the points are being distributed here. And I know what you're going to say. And all I can say to you is that I disagree. But in any event, I've frozen the whole damn shop. Um, you don't, in my opinion, in my anecdotal wisdom, you don't want to have a situation where your leech is sucking on uh, the Triceratops. It's never done for me what I needed to get done. Uh, unless maybe we get Triceratops to level two fast enough. Because, I mean, it could happen. You have to go. I think we gotta go, yeah? Yeah. I have no problems with this. I don't necessarily see a snake working for us here. I think I'd rather roll and roll. And if I'm looking at this, I'm thinking monkey. And then I'm thinking next turn, we're going to buy a lollipop for our peacock. It'll become a 1218, which is it'll actually a 1226, which is substantially better. No sweat. Oh, excuse me. I believe my Triceratops should at least get one hurt trigger. Judge, judge. We might not even live that long. Holy cow. We're getting our butt kicked right now. What are we at? Four wins? We, we're going off. Just get ready. It's, it's going off right now. You're popping. Let's have you... Let, let's handle you like this. It's still the right way to do it. If it's the right way, it's the right way. I stand by this decision-making process. I think this turtle is going to become a valuable member of the squad. We're going to play a lot of teams that are very closely matched, so we could get a lot of draws. I, would, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is I would plan for the late game, personally. The math worked out perfectly. In theory, it should be uphill from here in terms of its fun and downhill in terms of its difficulty, I hope. I could be wrong. It is nice to save one of these. We never know when we'll want it. And I think you're. it's time for you to leave and it's time for you to stay. I know we've been buffing it, but we'll be... I, I'll admit, the turtle doesn't do that well in this situation. But you can move the turtle here, then. And then the turtle is still soaking up the buffs! Let's go! That's, the, that's what we wanted, kind of. Although, no, now I'm realizing it's the same problem. <laughs> when the walrus dies, it could overwrite the, the melon on our peacock. Now, just because it didn't happen that time doesn't mean that that was the right play, obviously. Okay, we would have lost to a level 2 rooster there, so maybe maybe the walrus is not the play, even though it is quite good. We'll take a look at what we got here. I don't think we need a level 3 peacock immediately. I have to think. I know I rolled past the leech, okay? I know I rolled past the leech. What, what if we sold you and bought you? And it's a bit prospective. I guess. 
I would love the boar to also get the buff because it's going to get the melon by default. We, I'm realizing we have an issue on this squad, and the issue is very obvious. We legitimately only have like one useful unit. <laughs> but I feel like that's... We needed a croissant on our leech, I think, you know, much earlier. Now it's probably getting too late, but you could definitely take one of these. Do I sell a board? Yeah, I think I do. I think I do, and then I sell you. Then I buy you. And then we buy the boar back, okay. This makes it so we scale the attack on the peacock a lot faster. But honestly, it also means that after next turn, if we live that long, we can pretty much just sell the leech. And we may not live that long. Oh my god, you lived. Holy cow. Good enough. Good enough. We're going to be fine. It was a little spicy. We, we need to find that extra leg up on the competition here. Because we're peaking, but it's like, you know, it's a little late. <laughs> Why don't you do double damage once? I can't buy an apple, man. A roll has to beat an apple here. Okay, we'll get a level 3 turtle. Again, the principal problem is that it's buffing... Um, Okay, Peacock means the leech can go now. Yeah, the Peacock's pretty much maxed. Um, whoa! We've been shuffled around. And I'm not reaping all the benefits, I think. I think it's the op. I think I'm about to get my butt kicked by this puppy. I gotta give you some credit on that one. That w I did not see that coming. That was seven wins. I am just gonna be honest with you. I think I played that horrendously. I think we definitely had the opportunity. Let's be a... Uh, I mean, come on. I think we had the opportunity to put a croissant on the... On the leech a lot earlier. That would have saved us some serious heartache. Um, and I think we would have won easily. And I'm saying that that's not copium, okay? That's my own fault. I hate this team. I actually... I just do not like it. Go ahead, do it like this. We just want to, you know, the seahorse might stick around for a bit. So go ahead and take the two extra HP. This is not one of my finest uh, creations. <laughs> but we won't. Drew, anyway. I really thought we were going to win. Oh, I forgot the iguana does things. Bro, this is cringe. Level me. Level me. Thank you. Uh, finally, I appreciate it. You're garbage. I don't even want to talk about you being on the squad. So we're just going to slow play it. We're looking for things. We're, I'll, I'll freeze the whole shop. I don't even care. Because right now, it doesn't matter. We're, we got to think about how we get to 10. This squad right now does not get to 10. But it's not like we're going to be like, oh, if you buy a puppy instead, 10 wins is easy. Or not a puppy, sorry, but a, um, like the bulldog. If we had a puppy, we would have bought it in a heartbeat. For now, we got a plan for the future. What does the future look like? The freaking future looks like, you know, one of, one, of, one of these right here. You're going to get some extra HP. We don't really care for the Marmoset getting the extra HP now that I think about it. So, so it, it's not amazing, but we have a guaranteed level next turn, a level two seahorse. Who knows? Maybe that allows us to get Peacock and Leech on the same turn. I don't know. I don't know. In theory, I suppose you don't have to go Peacock and Leech, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to. We actually won a round. I sort of don't believe it. Okay, now it's all supposed to come together. We may have to go Puppy. It, it might just be a case of best player available. And you know what? This is easy scaling. Let me get a quick roll. I'm not that interested, although I'll admit a Tamarind kind of tickles my fancy in a certain way. Just because... Probably will want some garlic in the future. Um, if a tamarind could get to level 2, it gets good penguin scaling, then we can sell it into something like a lion, and maybe... I'd try not to use the term sicko mode loosely. We might be able to go a little sicko mode. Now, we're going to lose this one. <clears throat> but I have, I have some confidence in our future. It's not that bad. We're on 6... Take some garlic. Apparently, you're going to be sticking around a little. Obviously, we're going to need that. Yeah, that's... I, you know, I... No. We'll go for the puppy because we could do two puppies. But I also like that a level two puppy would get a little penguin scaling. 
By the way, the penguin has been nerfed a little, a little. It no longer buffs every level two. It only buffs... I can't believe the horses are this good right now. It only buffs up to a maximum of three. It's a bit of a, a clumsy buff, but you know, if it, if it gets the job done, if it makes the game more balanced, I'm willing to bear the cost. I'm sorry, Emperor Tamarin. You did not accomplish for me what I needed you to do. I can't. I can't. We have to buy something, though. Um, I'm going to buy a puppy and just hope to keep this son of a gun, like, you know, alive. Just keep the run alive. This team is not that bad. I know that's, like, the my last words on, like, every single run. <laughs> is this team is not that bad, and then it is that bad. But genuinely, this team can do some stuff, okay? You can see the engine working here. Roll it. Something's got to go at some point, but you got you to gotta wait. You got to simmer. We don't have a lot of space to work with. Roll me once. Okay. Uh, I would love to live for one turn longer so our Caterpillar can get the benefit of this buff, and then that would allow us to sell either our Seahorse or our Pillbug repeating, of course, and then we could take on another unit and start leveling it up instead. So this team's not that good. I, I know it sounds toxic, but it's just the truth. If the truth is toxic, then maybe you're living in a caustic environment, okay? Now you hit level two. It's very important. Now we might as well sell one of these units, and it should probably be the pill bug. I don't think any of these are worth building on. I think we can can, because we know we're going to be taking a garbage unit to begin with. Swap attack and health of all units. I'd much rather not do that. We can't really can and buy something else. It'll screw our puppy up. I think, though you may consider this an overrating, I think you can go turtle. And then we have to get the puppy up a level. I think I screwed up. I forgot my puppy was not at level two. We did not need to sell the pill bug. Don't let that be the thing that holds me back. It's going to be the thing that holds me back. Okay, okay. Like I said, this weekly is a little too easy to win on. Um, to win three total rounds. Horse me. Horse me. You can't take a, three units with one HP. It's just a recipe for failure. Let me be a bear burglar. A lot of burglar, bumbling burglar, bumbling crook. Those are both good. I mean, we, we have not performed well so far. Maybe it's time for us to, you know, act like we've been there before. All I can tell you is that on stream, we were kind of goaded with it today. I know you're going to be like, sure, but we really were. I do think we want crickets. And in fact, I think it's actually, it's kind of time to like pivot the whole team like this. Because we don't want to get the level on this turn. This would be fine. And then, you know, you level three, you could start to get, or tier three, you start to get like some spiders or something like that. You Horses can play into turkeys later. Like, I hated horses a long, long time ago. We've come a long way since then. Now they're a necessary part of any healthy ecosystem. I hate when we get the seagull right off the bat, man. I hate it. Not that interested. Still interested, I suppose. Although now I'm realizing, why don't we dump you in here? Why don't we put a little... Oh, that's why... Okay, forget... We don't like crickets leveling up anyway. We might as well trade a 1-2 cricket for a 5-2 spider. Which will then summon something else. Hopefully like a, like a sick turtle or something like that. Blobfish. It's, it's not that bad. Is certainly not that bad. All right, so we're basically we have no scaling, except temporarily, but that's kind of working for now. Nothing's good enough. Nothing's good enough. This is a level. Uh, this is now a level three horse. There's honestly a part of me that says just buff the back horse. 
What am I going to do with a level 3 horse? It's a great question. <laughs> Anything you could do with a level 2 horse, but, but better? I, we actually lose this one for sure. Once we consolidate the horses in the one, though, it's going to be a much more positive outlook for us. Right now, we just, we're just we trying to play the perfect game, and, and you know we got burned. There's a lesson learned there. Caterpillar doesn't really work. What I do think works is a 4-2 turtle that we pill for something next time. Maybe even our horse, for that matter. <clears throat> Not interested? Not interested? It doesn't have to be things that spawn things. I guess we could just create a level 2 turtle. Like, we could just use that horse as a way to kind of like capybara ourselves into a sensible mid-game pivot. Just throwing that out there. I'm sure everybody was thinking it. Interesting. Interesting. We lose these. We lose these by a lot. Interesting. Interesting. How does this happen? Interesting. It's kind of interesting. Here's what I'm thinking. We do want a level 2 turtle. Here's the problem we have, though. We have no good units um, at all. <laughs> like, at all, at all. Um, so what are we going to do about that? I think it's a little late for a puppy. Um... We have, we're on turn six, we have no good units. I mean, a deer is pretty good, but it's just a, it just is what it is. It's just a deer, right? Like, it's nothing, it's not like beneath the surface, like in, in 10 rounds, this deer is gonna become sicko mode. Again, I don't use the term loosely. So it worked, but we're really falling off. We need, like, something to come out of the woodwork and blow us away. And it just happened. It's the buffalo. Yes, the buffalo. That's it. And then if you could add... Sure, if you could... Get, now, this is a... You're going to laugh because it's, like, the most typical way to get to 10 wins, probably. But it's atypical for me to put this much respect on a buffalo. So this is out of left field as far as I'm concerned. I love the way this looks right now. Go ahead, go ahead, make a level two buffalo. See if I care. This is like the most cowardly way to play the game and I am living for it. I want you to know that. Now I definitely think spider goes in favor of rooster. Rooster scaling would be fantastic. Uh, even more so than the buffalo scaling probably. It's got, we got a long way to go before that really works for us, but, you know, I'm hoping we're going to get there. Wow, that's a, that's a wild one. Strong marmoset. You don't see it that much. That's maybe the understatement of this entry. You got me? It's a weird team. I, I like it, though. It's a strange team. We're on lethal. Take me to level two. It's necessary. Take me to level two. Might not be necessary, but I I respect it. The real question is, how is this rooster going to scale? And the answer is, it's probably never going to scale. I've been kidding myself into thinking it could scale. It's very, very unlikely to happen. I'll just tell myself we're waiting for the perfect unit to come along. There is no perfect unit. There's a, We're just going to end up buying like pears occasionally on the shop. But maybe if the perfect perfect unit came along you never know right let's do fair distribution i'm gonna tell you right up like straight up a 2020 bison slash buffalo is not gonna do it for you right here it's not gonna get the job done please please or is it or is it you don't realize the weaker I get, the stronger I get. Yes! <laughs> because you weakened your own blowfish to the point where I could like three for one. Okay, okay, okay. You're playing last week's weekly, brother. Get with the times. Okay, level three turtle. I'm gonna level with you. I don't really think it's all that, but now that means we could sell our horse which I would do immediately. I'm going to buy a dragon. My main goal, and I know we're on lethal, is to get wide scaling. 
Because if the rooster gets scaled and gets to level two, which seems highly plausible to me, there's a real future in that. Oh my god, it didn't kill the snake. He's still alive. You're breaking my melon armor. You're breaking my melon armor, man. I can't I can't win. I can't win. The horse was not gonna change that, but okay, dude, I'm getting my butt kicked. This did, this did not go. I thought we were gonna mosey in here and win every single game. That's not how that went down, but either way, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Up to the great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!